We got another one. Yeah. I'm going to keep on keeping on with these quick examples. Don't forget that you can pause this. All right. I'm cruising on. I'm going to do this two ways. You're going to hate that. Why? Because one of the biggest troubles that people have with these guys is their freedom of choice. As long as you don't break any of these guidelines, these rules, right? Don't call them rules. You guys like to break rules. That's bad. Let's call them commandments. Yeah. Um, looking at that. All right, sure. So I can go and I can do one of two things first. I could a product raised to a power, you do this. Bam, bam. Good. Let's handle it. So let me do that first. This one's gonna go down. So if I do that, bam, bam. Okay. This is x to the fifth to the minus third times y to the third to the minus third. You get a minus three. You get a minus three. Now I got, now I got, now I got a power raised to a power. So I multiply that guy, power raised to a power. So then this is x to the, what's five times a minus three? Minus 15. But wait, there's more. Three times a minus three, y to the minus nine. Fine, all right. So now I'm going to use this property. It's raised to a minus power. So I'm going to go and I'm going to drop it down to the denominator. Yeah. All right. If you got a negative in the exponent, it's in the wrong spot. It's having some hard feelings. Um. So it wants to go down. X to the 15 and Y to the 9. Fine. Each one of those minus signs are now plus signs. Good stuff. I'm going to show you another way. I'm going to show you another way. What if we had taken care of our minus sign first? We took care of our minus sign first. Another way that we could have gone about this is we could have taken care of that minus sign first. That's 1 over everything on the inside. x to the 5th, y to the 3rd, to the third power. Here the only thing that changed was the negative in my exponent. Yeah, I took the reciprocal. So then, oh, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. This is, this is, this is, this is x to the fifth to the third, y to the third to the third, and all that's still down there in the denominator. Yeah. Um, 15? Nine, fine. Hmm. And you did. Box that up. Is it the same as this one over here? Yes, it is. You could have whatever you like. Yeah. You could do it this way. You could do it that way. Uh, right. Um. Let's talk a little some some. Okay. Okay. If I had, if I had, if I had another example, right in here, because as I was doing this, I wanted to explain if you had two x to the minus two. Remember when we had the discussion about the minus sign on the outside and then parentheses? The minus 2 is on what? Is it on that 2 also? No, it is not. It is only on the x. So this is the same thing as 2. That stays in the numerator. x down here, this is x squared. All right. There's more. There's more as we explore these exponents. What if you had a minus in the denominator? What if you had something like y to the third over x to the minus three, y to the first power? If we had an example like that. <sighs> Take care of your minus signs first. All right, I got a minus in that exponent, so I'm gonna bring it up top. So this is gonna be y to the third, x to the third, y. The reciprocal. 
I could make this one over x to the third and then dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by a reciprocal and then you'd be good. Mm, but we're good now. I think we still have something left over in the denominator. Huh, why? Why? Because we haven't handled it yet. Here we see we got the same base and we're dividing. So what are we gonna do with the exponents? Subtract. What's three minus one? Y squared, X to the third, and then what? Get up. A box. And a flower. Oh, this one needs one too. A box. And a flower. This one too. A flower. Oh, jeez. Ah, still a flower. It's just a carnation. What in carnation? It's like a whole freaking garden.